Welcome back to another Southside Barbecue Home Cook. Today we're going to be smoking some delectable pork belly for some juicy, fluffy pork buns. Ladies, you don't have to go to Thailand for these buns. Nah, these are our natural, achieved right at home. So here we have our pork belly ready for her extreme makeover. Now we've taken the skin off and we've just left a layer of soft fat. And that's going to melt down and make our belly moister than Lizzo Sports Bra does. Now, first we're gonna use some Worcester sauce as a binder for our rub. Now, I know how much these rubs are going for in the store. $30 for a jar that lasts you one cook. Oh, unless you're paying for Stef the Maldi's rub one out, you're better off making your own. So we just got a homemade savory rub that's just as good as anything on the shelves. Check the description in our YouTube video for the recipe. It'll save you a fortune. Now, we just make sure we got a good all over coverage and we're good to go. Wee, she's a good day to be cooking. So today we'll be using the snake method on our Weber for our pork belly. As you can see, we don't need the African anaconda today. No, today we'll be using the rare Asian water python. It's not as long as this will only be a four hour cook, but let me tell you, it packs the same bang. Make sure you check our snake method video if you're unfamiliar with the ways of Jake the snake. So we're just using some apple chunks for our smoke today. And we got a drip pan just to keep the situation clean. We kiddos looking like the Auckland girls grandma bathroom during lunchtime. Oh, those damn vapes. Okay, we're about two hours in at 275 Fahrenheit. And we're starting to get some color on our belly like the Thug Life tattoo. You can see our snake is doing what it's supposed to do. So what we got here is we're just going to spritz our belly with some apple cider vinegar, some honey and some warm water. And this just to keep things nice and moist and just to build up some extravagant bark. Okay, we're about three, three and a half hours in. Now forget Rihanna's Super Bowl performance. This is the belly that will steal the show like a movie bootlegger. Let me tell you. Now, once we reach an internal temp of 165 Fahrenheit, we're good to go. Now, we're going to carry on a bit over just to really make sure that the fat is broken down like the McDonald's ice cream machine. Golly, look at that. Oh, we got more bark than the mongrel mob pad. That smoke ring looking absolutely outlandish. Ooh, wee. Look how moist she is. Looking like she just stepped out of the shower. Oh, shut the front door. Oh, you know what? I can't help it. I gotta sample the product. Golly! All right, it's time to start on the dough for our light and fluffy pork buns. Now in a bowl, we're just gonna start with four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. To that, we'll add three teaspoons of instant dry yeast, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, about half a cup of sugar. Then once all our dry ingredients are mixed together, we're gonna create a well in the middle just to add our wet ingredients, which is a mixture of half a cup of oil and one and a half cups of warm water. And then we're gonna gradually add that in and combine the two till we get a nice wet dough such as this. And this is where we earn our appetite for our pork buns. We gotta get this dough out onto our bench top and we're gonna go to work. Now we just need our dough for about five minutes to really activate that gluten. Yeah, we want our buns to be glutinous maximus. Now, once you get that elasticity, we just put it in a bowl and we cover it with a tea towel to let it proof for about two hours. Now, while our dough was proofing, that gives us prime time to create the filling for our buns. Now, what we have here is just some onion, garlic, and ginger. And we're going to cook them off till they're nice and transparent. And I don't mean Caitlyn Jenner. Now, nah, we have our pork belly cut into cubes of a respectable size. Because aren't you tired of buns with meat cut into disrespectable portions? Oh, nothing grinds my gears more. Let me tell you. Now we just add a thickening agent in the form of flour. About two tablespoons shall suffice. And we want to make sure that our flour is cooked off before we add a good amount of hoisin sauce. Now you can add whatever barbecue sauce you like. We're going for that Asian persuasion today and a little bit of soya sauce. Just a good amount of water to get that gravy. Now you can add as much or as little water as you like depending on how much gravy you desire. Ooh wee, look at that. All right, now we're just gonna let our filling chill out and cool off so it's easily pliable. 
So while it's doing that, let's knead our dough again just to knock all those big air bubbles out. And this is going to make our dough light and fluffy. Okay, so let's create a pork bun, shall we? Now we're going to start by rolling out a tennis ball size of dough. We're going to try and get the edges thinner than the middle just so you don't have a big dough base in your buns. Then we're going to add our cool pork belly filling. Now we're clicking on the category where the buns get filled right to the brim with our meat. Okay, and we're just going to carefully try and seal these buns up. And then we're going to just cap it all off with a small piece of baking paper. Okay, now she's all ready for the sauna. Okay, so now we're just going to steam these for about 20 minutes or till they're almost doubled in size. Oh, golly, we got a grower, not a shower. Look how fluffy she looks. Look at that dough just bounce back. But let's have a taste. Golly, that is the best pork bun I have ever tasted. Look how packed with big slabs of meat that thing is. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Guys, if you ever get the chance, make sure you try these smoked pork belly pork buns out. Oh, buns are so juicy, you'd swear you bought it from Brazil. Golly!